everyone. Children from broken families are even are nearly five times more likely to suffer damaging mental troubles than those whose parents stay together. Government research has found this out. It also shows that two parents are much more are much better than one if children are to avoid slipping into emotional distress and antisocial behaviour. The research adds to a wealth of data that shows children suffer badly from divorce or parental breakup and that those brought up by a single parent are much more likely to do badly at school, suffer poor health and fall into crime, addiction and poverty as adults. The report funded by the Department of Health and published by the Office of National Statistics investigated emotional disorders ranked as those which cause considerable distress and interference with the way in which children perform at school and during play. It also looked at conduct disorders which result in aggressive, violent and antisocial behaviour. The research studied nearly 8,000 children aged between 5 and 16 in 2004 and they found almost 1 in 10 had disorders. The children were checked again last year. The report said that a child whose parents had split during this time was more than four and a half times more likely to have developed an emotional disorder than one whose parents stayed together. They were nearly three times more likely to exhibit a conduct disorder. 11% of those children whose families broke up had emotional disorders against 3% among those whose families were still together. Nearly a third of children found to have mental disorders in 2004 still suffered from them three years later. The Department of Health said, The government is committed to helping children and young people experiencing mental health problems. But academic Patricia Morgan, author of several studies on family breakups, said, This does not come as a surprise, and things are going to get worse. Broken families and serial fathers produce homes full of conflict and chaos, and they are terrible for children. If you like, here are some questions you might consider. Question 1. Since government research shows that two parent families are far better for children than one parent, why does the same government keep talking about alternative family setups as though they were on a par with two parent families? Number two. Has the church a point in opposing adoption by same sex couples? Three. Should the church promote a more intensive training program for those contemplating marriage in church? 4. Should children, when they grow up, have the right to sue their parents if they divorce, or at least the guilty party? As I said, these are questions for you to consider. The answers might just surprise you. Thank you for listening and God bless you all. Oh